But let's get right into this crazy energy because I feel like I'm like in such stuck with my words and it has to do with this energy I'm picking up with Scorpio and this there is a stuck energy of needing to make a decision. So a decision is necessary here. I don't know. This is going you guys put where it fits, whether it's um, spirit will probably give me more information, but whether it's love, work. The point here is your spirit is in asking your soul needs to make a decision. You've got two of wands and three of pentacles here and something needs your attention. Something needs your attention and it's either you're going to build and also I'm getting a message here for those uh, who this is love. Some of you need to, and if you're going to build with someone, then that also needs to be you need to make that decision. Are you going to, are you guys going to collaborate, work together or not? So let's see what your soul transition is, Scorpio. Yeah. Karmic lessons. Yep. Souls incarnate into the human experience to resolve past life experiences, work through any painful lessons and turn them into an opportunity for growth. So this is to me is where the, the decision, some of you are dealing with a karmic partner and that's why souls incarnate. So whatever your situation is, whether it's in a work environment, because again, three of pentacles could be work environment, collaborations, any, any situation of a collaboration that's just not working right. Self-actualization. You are on the road to achieve your full potential. Understand your core strengths and use them to your advantage. And then we do have bottom of the deck, find your tribe. Seek out friendships and romantic partners who contribute to your soul's growth. Those who deplete you will keep you stagnant. Thank you. So this is why it's so stuck. So some of you, this is like a work situation or actual relationship, right? So I'm going to keep this about the soul. And uh, you have to know these are lessons, karmic lessons. These are part of the soul's um, lessons to transition, right? And this is why Spirit says work through any painful lessons. Turn them into an opportunity to grow. This is to turn it into an opportunity of growth to recognize your core strengths and then use it to your advantage. So a lot of self-actualization is happening here in this space. So let's get a major arcana shift. Let's see what your major, major arcana shift is. Yep. Lovers, open your heart. Allow to grow, allow love to grow and bloom all around you. You've waited for this emotionally fulfilling experience for such a long time. And now the time has come. Make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps you're guided to take. Joy will lead you to a vibrant and healthy life. So again, this is about your, your, um, the souls, right? Your tribe, the soul tribes that you are going to connect with and it needs to vibrate um, with the kind of life you want, you know, this is about your choices, make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps you're guided to take. And a lot of this to me is about decisions. You know, lovers is not only about your soul tribes, but it's about making a decision. So there's a lot about deciding here. Let's see what you need to surrender Scorpio surrender to creativity. So a lot of you are embarking into something really, um, important um let your imagination soar stay open to all creative ideas about about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem a lot of you um you know maybe it you you there aren't your current surroundings don't support your pursuits and I guess spirit is pointing out, this is, this is the focus of this read. You need to, um, you need to go find more, you need to go find collaborations that are more aligned to where your soul is like, there's like a dreamer in you, Scorpio. All right, let me get the main energies here. Yeah, awareness. You've got magician energy here. You know, it's it's a lot about making a decision here. Wow, see, two, two of swords, mental conflict, more swords, more two, discontent and boredom, four of cups. They're they're just I feel a stuck energy. There's some stagnation. You have magician here. We have sacral chakra. Again, this has to do with our our soul tribes, our relationships. There's a paradigm and there you go. 
Two of Pentacles, movement choices, decisions. And we're talking again about decisions trapped in fear. Um, so 222 two, two has a lot to do with our soul alignments. Also, 222 two, two is six lovers. So this is definitely about soul tribes. And I feel like there's this energy of you aligning to your soul. Because lovers to me is not just soul tribes. It's also your higher self. Um, lovers to me is the highest version of love. Ho lovers represents the highest version of love. And that is also about love for self, right? So joy will lead you to a vibrant and healthy life. You're trying to, your your heart, your open heart is going to lead you, whatever the decision is, is going to lead you to a more fulfilling, vibrant life. And this is understanding your manifestation abilities and also the karmic lessons because magician represents the lessons. And I think you're getting lessons on what kept, this trapped in fear is, Part of the stagnation. So we're just going to dig into this. Can you remind this awareness spirit? Why magician? Yeah. So there are fears here, clearly. Seven of Swords and the Moon. There are fears here. Um, and it's very deceptive. And you're going to need to stand your ground here in terms of conquering what these energies are. Um, I also feel, again, there are people around you that you just didn't see and i think you're seeing now as you move more into the sacral chakra energy your pursuits your passions what happens is when we move towards these creativities right um our creative selves our authentic version of ourself all of a sudden you start seeing the people around you very different and also it triggers it's a mirror and it will trigger something very, um, you know, different about them. It will trigger a lot of their moon energies, which is their shadow, right? The shadow sides of them, not the light, not the sun, but the shadow sides of them, deceptive ways or how they deceive themselves, how they're not really encouraging. You know, they see you positive, but they they are not positive. Um, and you're, you're finding yourself in a very defensive seven of wands like, Constant, def like defending yourself and your motives. Give me more of the sacral chakra. Yeah, Empress, you know, and Nine of Swords. So, this is tough because what I feel is this is when you reach a point of loneliness in the path, Scorpio. And you know what, Scorpio, you're not, there's nothing, you, you're not a sign that has an issue with being alone. You don't. But ooh, Scorpios do love to have people in alignment with their passions because it also drives their, it's a fuel for them, right? It's a fuel for you guys. Um, and there is a feeling of, yes, I got all these great ideas, but no one to share with. And I feel that's what I get with this Nine of Swords. So, it's minor and it's going to keep you stuck. I just feel like, again, it has to do with decisions here. Um, Scorpio, give me more on this movement choices and decisions. And seeing things for what they are and that's it. Give me more on two uh, decisions, please. Yeah, it it is. It, it's like a, is this energy right here is it is what it is. The tower and the wheel of fortune. Like you're going to have to rebuild it. Um, there's no convincing or, or stopping yourself or finding different avenues that that are currently in your situation that are going to help get out of maybe some of this attachment, you know. And I feel this is an energy of rebuilding and it's faded and it's supposed to happen. And it's really a pursuit to create this chariot, um, this movement. It's an energy surge to create movement towards, again, who you're going to be coming. You know, you're, it's a very, I'm going to clarify this mental conflict. Yeah, again, with the three of pentacles, your collaboration. So I just feel a disappointment. Yeah, knight of cups. 
with the six of wands you're pursuing dreams and um there is there is a i just feel a disappointment in the lack of genuine support and those who you thought were supportive all of a sudden are like not supportive don't let them block you and really like create some of this eight of swords energy give me one of this eight of swords and i think this is where the message is yeah the fears five of pentacles this is where they're not having the support creates the fear so give me one of this trapped in fear right and yep three of cups and the eight of cups you got to walk away you need a new tribe scorpio this screams <laughs> everything that you just really don't have a good support system so if you're feeling a little low energy it's because you don't have the proper support system and this is a very straightforward message so let's get into your abundance energy guidance what is the abundance energy guidance for scorpio several vows of poverty there you go, five of pentacles. Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. So this is definitely severing vows of um lack in a lot of ways and you know some of you it's family right and they not being supportive they not seeing your vision and that could that could um interfere and just kind of make you suffer some feelings right so let's see what else we've got pay yourself first make yourself your your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid this loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present your present and your future yeah i really do feel this is about your vision face your financial fears more about fears when you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure they can no longer control you be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness and you'll realize that you in fact have nothing to fear and that every every successful person has struggled with and released these self-doubts so i think there isn't a good support system and finding the support system that confirms what you're building will help sever these ties of poverty and fear about your goals and you'll feel more um inspired i feel with this nine of cups to pursue six of wands to continue to pursue um because now you have better collaborations which is this three of pentacles which we have here with this three of pentacles so um, i think in order to really relax that energy of the fears is to align yourself with those who are able to collaborate with you right now Scorpio so this is a very specific message here um, so let's see what your other guidance is Scorpio divine timing the universe has got your back trust that everything will work out and when the time is right for it there's no such a, such thing as coincidence and then we have let's see love you are worthy of love and it will find you give the love you would like to receive i feel this is about you finding your own collaborations we're talking about connections again um and this is worthy of love this is about finding your self-worth in what you love and understanding that you're worthy of that as well um again find your tribe i want to point out seek out friendships and romantic partners who contribute to your soul's growth those who deplete you will keep you stagnant. And I think 
a lot of this is a redefining of what that is as well um, in alignment to what you're trying to pursue here. So um, I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio.